AEW with Chef Megan and Chef Kayla. Has the cold got you down? Is the chill giving you a frown? If so, no, don't, don't touch, touch that, that remote. remote. Hey Kayla, do you like hot cocoa? Sure Megan, everybody likes hot cocoa. But how hard is it to make? You just open up the envelope, put it in a cup, and add hot water. Not that kind of hot cocoa. Homemade from scratch. It's the best. We'll just follow the direction. It's on the side of all uh, the major brands of cocoa. But Megan, are we, are we old enough to make this ourselves? Sure, that's fine. As long as you have an adult and have their permission. Mr. Warner is here, and I heard he needed to watch more cooking shows anyway to learn how to cook. Hope he does not turn to be the next Emerald. I like him as a teacher. Don't worry, Kayla. He won't become a galloping gourmet or Julia child just from helping us. Phew. Let's begin. Mix one and a half cup sugar. Stir in one third cup water. About two minutes. Last week I made dinner for my family and I burnt the turkey. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Giants. Okay, um, 
How do you think you guys will do tonight? Uh, I think we have a good chance of winning. Uh, we're pretty evenly matched. It should be a good match. Uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see. How has the season gone so far? Well, we've had some individuals that have done really well. Brian Carlson beat a kid that was rated triple A the other day. Uh, we had another kid that wrestled a state place winner and beat him. And we also had a kid that lost by three points to a state champion the other night at Buffalo Lake Hector. Can we catch up with you after the match? You sure can. Thank you. Tom Messerly. What way do you wrestle? Tonight I will be wrestling 140. Good luck wrestling today. We'll talk to you later. Thank you. I think GFW and McLeod West is going to win. And this is... Tom Messerly. How do you think the match went today? Um, it went pretty good. I think we could have pulled out one of our starters was sick today, and I think that would have made a big difference. What do you do to prepare for a match? Well, I get here way early, check my weight, weigh in, and then I usually go and eat too much, which isn't good. And then I warm up and drill, and then I jump rope for a while. And then until my match starts, I stretch out, jump rope, and cheer on my teammates. Thanks for the interview, and good luck with your season. Thank you. How do you think the match went today? Well, we were hoping for a victory, but we came a little short. We needed to win one more match, and we probably could have pulled it off. But uh, just a little short. Maybe we'll get it next time. Is there anything that you could do differently next time? No, not really. We won the flip at the beginning, so we got to choose who got to go out there first at the uh, important times. But uh, we just need to get a little tougher in our lower weights and improve Improve, improve some of our technique and then I think we maybe can pull a win off. What do you think about pairing with McLeod West? Oh, it's great. They, we got a lot of nice kids that come down from uh, Broughton to wrestle and uh, it's really working out well. We're able to fill a lineup. If it wasn't for McLeod West, we wouldn't be able to fill our lineup. And we still want to get more kids over at the elementary out for wrestling this year, starting on Mondays and Thursdays. Who are you playing tonight? Tonight we're playing the Wabasso Rabbits and they're probably the top team in the conference, so we need a good win tonight. So far the season's going okay. We've only won one game, but hopefully tonight we'll get another win. I'm Megan Camlander reporting for KGFW, and your name is? Cindy Jackson. Why are you here at the game? Because I came to watch my daughter play. Did you used to play basketball? Yes, I did, back when we were just Winthrop. Did you like it? It was my favorite sport. What are some of your favorite memories of basketball? Oh, gosh. Probably going to tournaments with our team. And then also staying overnight down at the state tournament. Enjoy the game, and thanks for letting me interview you. You're welcome, Megan. tonight? GFW. <laughs> Who do you think will win the game tonight? GFW, of course. Who do you think will win the basketball game? I think they're all winners. <laughs> this is Mike Madison with the Winter News. How's it going? It's going pretty good. I wish we'd uh, be on the better end of the score here. We're losing 60 to 51 with only about 44 seconds to go, but they're playing hard.
Hi, this is Larissa Malone, and we're interviewing Alicia Krugel. What were some of your role models when you were growing up? Um, I'd probably have to say Mrs. Bussey. She's been my coach for a while, and probably my mom. Yeah. Is basketball your favorite sport? Yep. Yeah, I like it too. Well, you did good even though you didn't win. Thanks. Hi, this is Megan Camlander reporting for KGFW, and with me is Becky Jackson. How do you think the game went tonight? Okay, we should have won though. <laughs> Who are some of your role models? Amanda Magus, um, Alicia was my role model. Um, did your mom's playing basketball have an impact on you? Yeah, it did. What do you do to get ready for a basketball game? I just kind of prance around in the locker room with Polly. Thanks for the interview. Yep, no problem. Thanks. Hi, this is Zara Simone and we're with... Becky Bussey. I think the game went really well tonight. I think the girls played outstanding. They played great defense. They hustled and they played until the last second. And I'm very proud of them. Yeah, they almost won, kind of. <laughs> Who inspired you when you were younger? I think was an older player, her name was Melissa Young. Um, and I watched her and also um, Coach Alexander was my coach in high school. And he inspired me to be a coach and I just enjoy what I do. Okay. What is your favorite memory about basketball? I guess one of my memories is that I just got to play with a good group of girls. Um, we never were really good, but we played as a team. And I got to be on TV one time and talk, so that was a, a memory of mine. And with the team, we have a great group of girls, girls right now. And I just love being with them every day. And I have two little girls that love to be with them and play basketball with them. So I hope that one day they grow up to be just like them. Thanks for the interview, and we wish you luck. Bye. Thank you. I'm Courtney Gunther. Reporting from KGFW, and here's the head basketball coach. What's your name? Well, I'm uh, Richard Bussey. How, how long have you been the basketball coach? I've coached here at GFW for, uh, this will be my, this is my sixth year. This is my third year, though, as the varsity coach. Where did you go to school? I went to school here at GFW. I was uh, here for four years. Did you play basketball? I did. I played for uh, Coach Muth. Um, who I, whose place I took about three years ago. What is one of your favorite memories for coaching and playing? Um, from the playing end of it, I, it would have to be uh, the season that we made it to the state tournament. But I, I think even the coaching memories are, are just as good. Uh, my first year coaching, we were able to make it to the subsection championship was um, a, a highlight as well. Who do you play against tonight? Uh, we play New Ulm Cathedral Greyhounds. Thanks for the interview, and we'll talk to you later. See you, Courtney. Hi, Mr. Muth. How, how did you like coaching when you were coaching? Uh, I, I truly loved working with the kids. I loved uh, the job of coaching. How long did you coach? 37 years. So a pretty long time. Well, yes, it is. And I, the reason I stayed in it was because I had good kids. Yeah, I can believe that. What was your favorite memory of coaching basketball? Uh, probably in 1991 when we first went to the state tournament, my first trip to the state, uh, it was exciting to go and we beat uh, Belle Plaine in the championship to go to the state. That must have been exciting. It was. Very exciting. How do you think the game will go tonight? I think it'll go on our way because uh, we got a very good ball club and uh, Mr. Bussey does a good job coaching them, so I think we'll be in good shape tonight. Thanks for the interview. I'll talk to you more than welcome. Thank you. I'm Courtney Gunther, reporting for KGFW, and this is... Justin Durack. And Ryan Blumhofer. How many years have you guys been playing basketball? Um, high school, this is my fourth year. Uh, six years, fourth year in high school. What are one of your favorite memories for playing the game? Um, probably last game when I scored 29 points. Uh, I'd say my sophomore year, uh, Coach Bussey's first year when you went to the subsection finals. That was a good time. We'll let you prepare for the game. Talk to you later.
with KGFW. My name is Zachary Schiller with Lowell Zellman. L Lowell Zellman, how do you think the first inning of the game went? Uh, we played pretty well. We were a little short on energy. We should really be up by about 20. Yep. What do you think about that? Yeah, I think so too. Zachary Schiller with KGFW, and we are here with Chris Bush, Tim Law. Chris, how do you think the first inning in the game went? The what? First inning. Uh, first half. The game was a little, little slow at first, but uh, after halftime we picked it up and we played well in the second half. What do you think? Oh yeah, we had no energy the first half, but we came out and we played a lot better second half, and yeah. How do you think the second half went? Yeah, that went a lot better than the first. We we came out there and we played aggressive defense and we hustled. <laughs> Yeah, I agree with him. We had a lot more energy, and it was all it was a lot more fun the second half. What's your most favorite memory? Uh, well, there was a lot, you know. <laughs> what? Memory moment of what? Um, Hoffy's 360 spin. That was sweet. I like that. Are your shoes good luck? When I took oh. yeah, I got my shoes from Nike. They signed me, so I got good shoes from them. When I took my laces in, they're good luck. <laughs> How do you think you played? Tonight? You know, I think I did well tonight, a lot better than most nights. Uh, I just hustled out there, and yeah. How about you? I didn't bring my A game, but I was good enough, and yeah, it didn't matter at the point, so I played. Thanks for interviewing. Good game. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Yep. Let's see if we can ask the radio DJ a couple of questions. Hi, I'm Joshua Caven, reporting with KGFW, and and this. I'm Randy Clausen with KLGR Radio in Redwood Falls. What do you enjoy about reporting on the games? I guess I like just watching the high school athletes uh, performing. They're out there playing for fun. They're not getting paid to perform, and they're out there for our enjoyment. It's just a lot of fun to watch them perform. Me too. Who are some of your favorite athletes growing up? I guess when you take a look at it, uh, a little bit older than what you are, but of course, like Michael Jordan, he's still out there, still performing, uh, just one of the greatest basketball players of all time. As far as football players, I think you have to look at players such as uh, uh, Dan Marino, maybe uh, John Elway, or if you go a little bit further back, like Fran Tarkington. Thanks for the interview, and have a nice evening. Thank you for the opportunity. Isaacson reporting for KGFW, and we're at the ECFE room. Let's see what's going on. And this is Gretchen Black. What are you guys working on? We're making glitter stars. Mrs. Becker. Hi. What do you enjoy working with the ECFE kids? Oh, I think it's their freshness. At this age, they just love to do everything, so that's what makes it fun. Is it really busy around the holidays? Yes, it is. We just finished making calendars for moms and dads, and we wrapped them and made cards. Oh, wonderful, Ryan. You did a good job. So it's been very busy. Let's look around and see what they do around here. This is Smith Isaacson reporting from the ECFE room. Have a nice day. I'm Courtney Gunther reporting for KGFW in the art room with... Mr. Mortensen. Here's what we're doing today in class. Marcus, what are you doing? I'm coloring a paper that I drew. Hey, here's art. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brady Krieger, and this is Mrs. Oakland. How did you like teaching kindergarten? I love teaching kindergarten. What was your favorite memory of teaching kindergarten? 
There are so many fun things. Christmas is such an exciting time of year. The holidays for the children and the parties and the stories. There's so many good things about teaching kindergarten. Who was your favorite teacher when you grew up? When I was in fourth grade, I had Mrs. Haas, and she read to us, and I always remember that. Hi, I'm Marcus Schmidt, reporting with one of the kindergarten teachers, Mrs. Ricky. How, how long have you been working here? 16 years. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> now, what are one of your favorite memories from teaching? Oh, I have so many. I have so many. The Christmases are always so fun, and especially when, when the gingerbread man runs away. I think though every year when we bake cookies, that gingerbread man always runs away. Yeah, what, what do you like about this time of year? Oh, I like all the cookies and the candies, and, and then my favorite food, you know, is lutefisk and lafsa. That's what we always eat. It's a tradition because we're Norwegian. So I look forward to that every Christmas. What's lutefish? It's a Norwegian codfish that's been, that's been dried. And um, it's, a, it's a delicacy. You put butter on it or a white sauce, and it's very delicious. The smell isn't so good, but it's very yummy. Who, who are your role models when you grew up? Oh, probably my father and my mother, and then I had a very special sixth grade teacher who really, um, uh, she was my role model, a model. I really looked up to her because she was a very special woman. Do you remember me? I was one of your students. Yes, you were one of my bright, shining students, and so was this one right here. <laughs> he brought his puppy to school one day. Yeah, now he's gone. <laughs> now we have a new little one. I'm Anessa Lozano, okay. reporter for KGFW, and I'm, with, I'm here with Mrs. Schwecki, the librarian. What are popular books the kids are reading? Uh, the Bailey School Kids books are really popular. Um, Cam Jansen Mysteries are very popular now, too. And the fourth graders are busy reading the Maud Hart Lovelace Award books. I'm Larson and we're reporting with the first graders. Hi, what are you drawing? Pictures. Okay. <laughs> what do you want for Christmas? My two front teeth. <laughs> what is that? A shake up globe. That's nice. This is Ellen. What's your store? Our store is for the boys and girls to buy things after they've earned money for bringing back homework, for behaving, for good manners, and all the different ways they earn money during the month and then they get to come to the store and buy things and keep them. That's cool. Who can tell me what this board is for? It's for the postcards. We put the string to the, you know, to the state where we got the postcard from. What's your class doing today? Well, we just got finished with doing our estimating jar for math, and now we're going to do centers. And after we do centers, we're going to be opening up gifts. We're just going to be having a great day today. Sounds good. Courtney, what are you making? A holiday card. So who are you going to give it to? Who are you going to give it to? My mom and dad. What are some of the things you're doing in the classroom? Math, science, English. Hi, this is Kayla Jackson reporting for KGFW, and I am interviewing Mrs. Elmer. How have the holidays been in the elementary office? They've been quite exciting. We are so busy. Everybody's having their holiday parties, and the staff had their good cheer in the lounge. It was quite exciting. We are interviewing the elementary school um, principal, Mr. Regoris. What are one of your favorite holiday memories? I can remember when I was about five years old, I got a drum set. I woke up one morning, it was Christmas morning, and, and there was a drum set. I, I uh, got to play the drums all day Christmas, and my parents were so mad at me because that's all I did was play the drums. Um, what are your favorite holiday memories? Oh, I remember lots of holidays at home with my family and and we'd all gather around the Christmas tree and open presents and think about the meaning of Christmas and just have a nice 
a nice special holiday time. What's one of your favorite holiday memories? Oh my gosh. There's been a lot. I think just right now, like when my niece and nephew come over and help decorate the Christmas tree. My niece is six and my nephew is four, and they have a good time. When I had everyone home for Christmas one year, and we were all together opening presents and laughing and having a very good time with my whole family. Now we're interviewing Lori Ricky. What is your favorite holiday memory? I think my favorite holiday memory is um, going to Disney World with my family one year for Christmas. What's your favorite holiday memory? Just being with friends and family. Down behind the school where GFW was sliding down the hills <laughs> on a toboggan. That was fun. Here, here we are at Tom's, Tom's and Tom's Food Store. What, what's your favorite holiday? When the kids all come home and I get to see them. <laughs> what I got a gift for my kids. About 10 years ago there was a blizzard and we couldn't go anywhere and we were just stuck at home, just our family, and celebrated Christmas that way. We didn't have electricity and my kids had just gotten a video game. They were a little disappointed, but we still had a lot of fun. Here we are interviewing Stacy Bittner. What is your favorite holiday memory? Making cookies with my family. Okay. Of course, the Christmas cookies. And Southworth. What is your favorite holiday memory? When I got my Annie Oakley cowgirl outfit. Who's Annie Oakley? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who is she? She was a famous, famous TV cowgirl. Okay. What's your favorite holiday memory? It is Christmas and Easter, of course. We are here at the Winter at Nursing Home interviewing... Gertrude Stadman. What were one of your favorite holiday memories? Yes. Do you have a special present that you remember? I suppose there are quite a few, and my folks gave me when I was small. I they got a good pocket watch. Having all my grandkids come home. A little pinball machine is probably something I remember back when I was real young. It's probably the, what I remember most. It was probably the nicest present I ever got. My five grandkids. Um, just when I was little and my family was all together and we got to open up presents and all be together. When Probably when I was a real little kid and when I got my first bicycle, it was probably my most memorable one. Um, when my aunt comes home. I'm Zach Schiller. I'm Kathleen Pan I'm Jackie Dorson. Hi, 